Amen. Amen. Ah, look. Once again, yeah, they call me Ike. I've been the flies, looking so fly from the snap back down to the Nikes. We should do with try me mad, cause I'm top rhyming, shining like a diamond reclining, cause the whole army. Running from the popo, do still pulling out a fofo. Remember back in the day, dad in the kitchen whipping out the cocoa. When I do a lot of post, man, these niggas do a lot of jar though. Made the sweeter than a diabetic, versus put him in the paramedic. Vegetarian, all I need is a lot of letters and a lot of cash. Don't fuck with us. Hi, this is Ike. Um, welcome to Creating Clout. And how's it going, Ike? It's going good. It's going good. good. I'm, cool. I'm glad yeah. to hear it. Okay, so we're gonna get right into this interview. Let's get it. The first thing I ask is, what's your, who are your top five? Oh, top five artists uh -huh. or rappers? Artists. Doesn't matter. Dang, this is a big key. She threw me in the, um, Kanye's in it. Okay. All of Kanye? Because, you know, Kanye got faces. <laughs> um, I don't know. I'm a believer in, like, you know, a person is the same person. They're just, well, like you said, different phases, so. You know, if I'm going to say his name, I have to take the whole. Okay. Um, I will say that I think he has a lot in his catalog where it can definitely, you know, not make up, but I feel like he has so much good in his catalog that I can justify him being on my top five. Okay. He's uh, in my top five, so I'm not judging. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I think, I think kind his classic kind of classics are just so iconic and just what he's done for the culture, what he want to say in the past or whatever. Um... I think Cuddy. Okay. Um, it's a real good music so far. That's two. I, that's the first. <laughs> that's the first I have to mention. Um, I like Elton John. Interesting. Yeah, I'm um, good by Yellow Brick Road. My first album that I like kind of study for songwriting. Um, who else? Ah, man, five. I can't even put five because I, you know, I like Biggie. Okay. Um, I like Most Step. Um, You're naming real lyricists. Yeah, okay. yeah, you gotta, yeah, I, I, I'm a fan of lyricism and songwriting. Um, I like Portishead. Okay, I'm not um, familiar with them. Yeah, they're lit real dark. Um, so a lot of the dark stuff you see from me is just derived from that. Um, and I like Wyclef Jean. I really like Wyclef. My dad's Fugees. a Fuji's fan. So. Yeah, and the Fuji's, yeah. Like, you know, when I tried to sing, I, I never really wanted to be like the most... I kind of say it like, you know what I'm saying? So, like, I just like White Clap, like, and the Fuji's in general, like, I yeah. like what they brought. Yeah. yeah, his crooning, his whole sound. Yeah, it, 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 has, it has power. It has, um, not power, it has, um, I think anyone can sing, and it's cool to sing, but, like, I feel like I like people who can sing, and they put a little bit of the culture in the voice, and I feel like Clef does that a lot. Yeah, you know and what he has saying? soul to it. Yup, yup, yup. Okay, so... That's funny that you say, Biggie, because you were talking off camera mm -hmm. about what your roots are. Yeah, yeah, so yeah. So where are you from, specifically? I know I read something about New York, but like born in New York. Yeah, so yeah. Too. So like, um, I'm a world I'm a world kid. Um, the New York thing is like, there was this article where they did something on me. Mm -hmm. And so basically, they looked at my bio, and my bio was like, I'm born in New York, which I am. I was born in New York. Um, it said, born in New York, lived in latest Nigeria, um, DC, you know what I'm saying, made or whatever. And then they just took the beginning. That's, you know, lazy journalism, I think. Mm. They call it. Yeah. Um, but no, I was born in New York, um, lived in Nigeria for most of my life, and I came here after high school. And then I've lived in DC, between Maryland and DC. Okay, so growing up in Lagos? Yeah, Lagos. 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 You gotta say it right. Lagos. Lagos. Yeah. Okay. Lagos Everyone's always getting on me about yeah. that. Lagos. Yeah. Um, growing up in Lagos, uh, how how was that? And how would you say that experience affected your sound of music? Oh, it definitely affected 100%. I, you know, um, growing up in Lagos was cool. Um, it was cool. I'm trying to, you know, I didn't appreciate it as much until I got here. Because, mm -hmm. like, obviously you're there with everyone and everyone's the same. And then you come in and you start to realize all the things that you picked up. Um, it was cool. It was a big city. It was a really big city, real busy city. Everyone had to, like, really. Um, it's a city with culture, but it's always moving, always busy. Um, a lot of action. Um, I don't know. I grew up during the time. Like, I was there during, like, the last, around the time when we had, like, military rulers and stuff like that so um and i just those were like my early memories 
Um, and so I just, I don't know, when I decided I wanted to make music, the whole idea of making music was trying to capture those sounds. Um, so like, you know, I wanted to make sure that if I'm making music, I wanted that to reflect, like, I mean, I lived in Lagos and I lived here, so technically I'm a Nigerian-American to the, I mean, you're Nigerian-American, but I'm Nigerian-American in the sense that I lived in Nigeria, yeah. in the States, so like, I wanted the music to reflect that. Like, I wanted to be like, because that's what I think I am. So I wanted the music to reflect all of that, so it's like, you know, I think like, yeah, you know, I, I borrow from all those kind of influences. Like, yeah, I can spit. I'm very versatile in that way because I'm a versatile kid. I've lived in this place. Okay. So I want my music to reflect that. That's dope that you choose to have versatility versus sticking in one round or one box. Mm -hmm. Because what I noticed with a lot of DMV rappers specifically, mm -hmm. you find your sound and stick in it. You're not willing to experiment. And like yeah. you were talking about Kanye, mm -hmm. you got to go through phases gotta experience yeah. gotta figure out because not everything people aren't constant exactly no i i agree um yeah well me i mean one of the things you know i think earlier when i was making music earlier it was like i just loved so many different things my dad really is the one who caused all this like my dad um used to have like a whole just why i mentioned elton john he used to have like a whole bunch of i don't even know how, you know i don't even know how he you know got into that that's probably a conversation any time on but like he had all this music, like I'm talking Elton John, Neville Brothers. Um, he had um, Hearts. He had um, Guns N' Roses. Um, I mean, he went from R&B to rock to reggae to dancehall. And I'm also Igbo, so like, you know, Osita, um, Osadebe, um, obviously Fela, Fela Kuti. Um, My dad loves him. Yeah, Fela Kuti, but like. Um, um, Oliver de Coco, like just like oh, he just had like a whole array of music, so that's what French electronic like dance music. So like I was drawn to the music, and like that's what I would always bump, and so I tried to put it together. Um, early I would always like do all every single sound separately, and I think what I tried to do is create what I think is my sound, mm -hmm. but make sure that my sound reflects everything. So whenever I'm making music, I try to make sure like I'm rapping, but I can't rap all through. Like I have to make sure I don't want the listener to predict what I'm going to do. So if I'm rapping, I feel like you're getting comfortable. I have to switch it off. I have to switch it. I have to say something silly. Yeah, I have to like bring a melody. It doesn't have to be the most musical melody. It can be something that sounds like I'm in the shower. Yeah. Like someone came to me was like when I early when I used to sing earlier and you know started practicing. Oh my god, you sound like water. Cold water is going down your back. And like I, maybe they thought it was supposed to be a diss. I was like, nah, that's lit. Yes. <laughs> I was like. Oh, that goes because the, the the regular person sings in the shower. So, like, I want to be able to, I don't want to be that bad, but, like, I want to be able to capture, like, I don't want to sing, like, I want to sing or create melodies in a way where, like, the regular person, because I consider myself a regular person too, right? Yeah. But the regular person can sing along to it in the shower. Yeah. Or when no one's watching. And if you, you know, because that's what most people do. When you're signing other records, you clearly can't sing like that person. So I want to create melodies that... I mean, me in the shower, personally, I sound like Beyonce. You're not seeing me in the shower. My shower you voice. You can't see me, though. Nah, my shower, yo, 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 yo. Ask my roommates. I got this. Yo, 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 your roommates, <laughs> your roommates, um, opinions are rather, like, trust me, this is real facts. Like, when it comes to singing in the shower, I'm undefeated. Um, holla at, yo, Celine Dion can't see me with my shower voice. <laughs> what about B? Yo, the beehive crazy, so like, you know what I'm saying? You can't come for them, you know. Beyonce lit. <laughs> but nobody's seen me in the shower. Like, the shower singing voice is on fire. Like, when I hit those, no, when the cold water, like, when it hits you, like, right here, and then I just, <laughs> like, when I hit that. It's a rap, right? Yo, oh, holla at me, like, records, holla at music. <laughs> so, speaking about music, mm -hmm. on SoundCloud, you're listed as. Um, any means necessary. Any means necessary, yeah. Can you explain that name and how it differentiates from Ike and how you kind of tie all that together? <laughs> any means necessary is a group, man. Any means necessary is a squad. Any means necessary is the bros. Um, um, any means necessary is an idea. Um, I actually wasn't even a part of the start of Any Means Necessary. Shout out to my boy Ostafa. Hey. Um, shout out to my boy Trini Philly Cake. Um, but they started. They started with a whole bunch with a whole bunch of kids. Shout out to Allen, Old Philly, Germantown. Um, they started, and then me and Ilstafa got cool, and then me and Ilstafa used to always hang out, and then me and Philly Cake used to always hang out, and, you know, I was, we were always doing music, like, that was their group, so we'd do, like, open mics, and they would perform, and I'd perform with them, it's like, we were all brothers, and mm -hmm. 
So you that's know? your musical house or your Yeah, your... that's the group, yeah. Okay. You know what I'm saying? And to me, like it's an idea. Like, you know what I'm saying? I think everyone is always striving, like we're all striving for goals, like by any means necessary. Like, you know what I'm saying? Like everyone's always striving to do something, like yeah. whatever it is, <clears throat> even if it's you're doing a nine to five. And while you're doing that nine to five, you might, you know, that might not be your cup of tea, but you have like your little hustle on the side and you, you doing what you gotta do to get your, your main goals. And that to me is what, you know, you're gonna do by any means necessary because if that's your real goal, if that's your passion, you gotta, you know, do that. So that to me is, it's, it's a group, but it's also an idea. You know what I'm saying? Anybody can, you know, rep any means necessary as long as you're out here working hard and you chasing your dreams, you know what I'm saying? By any means necessary. Most definitely. So mm -hmm. how do you balance like making money and making art because that's something i like to ask my artists especially at like around our age group mm -hmm. it's kind of hard because you know you got to bring money in the door but you still got to express yourself yeah. yeah um and that's that I, to be honest i don't even know if i have all the answers for that it's very difficult i do think though one thing i would say that i you know dinner with certain people is like don't let i feel personally like at the end of the day we're doing all this for money like this is a business right like, yeah if it's not a business then you can just go to Ocean City and just chill on the beach and play and have people just clap for you or whatever. So it's like, it's a business. But I also feel like sometimes we should not let money affect the hustle. Like, you know what I'm saying? Sometimes, and what I mean by that is that, you know, it's, it's a balance of being in the middle. It's like, I've seen some people who like act a certain type of way when it comes to um, whether it's doing a show or doing this and doing that. And then they're so focused on the money and when in the long scheme of things, the money might not necessarily be the main thing, or that could be a step onto the next level. So, I did. I guess the way I would say is just to be in the middle. It's like at the, end, at the end of the day, it's a business. So run it like a business, but make sure that your heart's in it. Make yeah. sure that you you love the. Because if you're making music, if you're making art, what you put out, that's you. That's your representation. That's your word. That's your stamp. So you got to make sure that no matter what happens. When put that out there anyone who sees that can be like man the quality is there like you got to be able to like stamp the quality so definitely work on um getting money but just make sure the money doesn't compromise the your quality goal. and the goal. quality i feel mm -hmm. you i think i always follow a quote like if you're doing what you love passionately mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. and with enough endurance and discipline mm -hmm. the money's gonna come to that. yeah and i think and at the end of the day it's like no matter what you just have a plan that's what i think like you just gotta have a plan like you gotta plan. Like, if you plan, like, you know, even when people start businesses, that's how I'm looking at it as a business. Even when people start businesses, like, in the beginning, sometimes, you know, things gonna be slow, but like, you just keep going. Like, and you just have to have a plan, make sure it's thought out, make sure you have a team ready, and just roll it out and just keep going. If you have a solid plan, chances are it's gonna, it's, it's gonna happen. Okay. So, speaking of plans, mm -hmm. how do you see 2018 going for you and the rest of 2019, music wise? I mean, you know, 2018, I mean, at this point, 2018 is almost over, like... Hey, we got it in, like, five, six Nah, the, the, the way I'm looking at it is, like, I blinked, it was March, and then now, like, tomorrow is August, like... <laughs> right. This is wild, you know what I'm saying? So, um, look, man, 2018 is going to be late. Um, you know, talking about passions and doing things that we love, right? You know, I, I was lost, but, like, you know period of time. I was a nomad walking by myself. And so all of a sudden, no seriously, all of a sudden like I just decided that like music, like I want to do music, but like if I'm doing music that doesn't have a purpose or a passion, what's the point? Um, so now I'm, I'm really all about the animals. Um, I love animals, man. I love goats. Um, you know, shout out my homie Billy. Um, shout out to all the kids. Baby goats? Because those are Kids, kids, right? Those are kids, you know. <laughs> yeah, but but it's Billy, you know what I'm saying? It's, 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 so it's Billy specifically. Billy specifically. Uh -huh. I mean, Billy got some homies too. Um, but that's my passion, man. That's what I love. So I see 2018. You know, I, I dropped the single Billy, going off, and Fire. me and Billy appreciate it. Me and Billy linked up. He's the one that gave me the inspiration for that. Oh. So so 20, you met the goat before the song. Absolutely, I met the ah, goat before the song. So you yeah. wrote the song about Billy. Billy wrote it. Billy's, <laughs> Billy's my, why are you having? Like, Billy's my ghostwriter. So how did he, your ghostwriter? <laughs> oh, <laughs> you know, I got puns for days. Yo. <laughs> Billy, I think we got the album, I think we got the album title right now. Yo, credit you on TV. I got you, we gotta, we gotta talk to your people, talk to my people. <laughs> nah, he killing him, man, he, he's my ghostwriter. Um, and, you know, I, like I said, I was lost. 
and then he was just like, he came, he, he did his little gold thing, um, and we just had that record. It was a fire record. So 2018, I feel like me and him were just going to keep making record. You know what I'm saying? Fire records, just like blowing up. You know what I'm saying? Okay. People people are so interested in me. People want to hear his story. Um, the video is about to drop. You're going to see Billy talk for the first time on camera soon. Y'all, are y'all ready? Yeah, like, no, y'all think I'm joking. Like, y'all are going to see Billy talk for the first time. So look forward to that. Like, this is, have you ever seen animals talk before? Like, y'all think animals don't talk. They really talk. The problem is they don't talk in front of you. So for the first time, I've been able to convince him, like, nah, don't be the, like, we don't want to do that ghostwriter thing. Like, you got to take all the accolades. You got to take all the, you know what I'm saying, just the love. Like, I want you to shine. I want you to be shining out here like the goat that you are. So all that's when they shining me. Love. Me and Billy. I'm going to be showing a lot of, you know, goats love. Okay. You know what I'm saying? So we're going to get more goats involved besides more Billy. Goat. We're you know more what? Goat writers. Remember this. We're going to get more goats. Okay. That's what I'm going to say. We're going to get more goats. More goats, y'all. Remember that. More goats. Okay. More goats. So speaking of Billy and the mm -hmm. song Billy, mm -hmm. you were on 93.9 KYS yeah. versus. Yes. How was that experience for you? It was, yo, um, <laughs> it was dope, man. Um, it was, it was dope, but it, it's, it's just scary because, like, you don't know what you're going, you really don't know what's going to happen. Like, you're going against, you know, the top of the top. Like, people who are hungry making dope music, you know what I'm saying? I mean, I had faith in myself um, because I had, you know, Billy, Billy. <laughs> um, to the side of me. Like, I knew once Billy got involved, like, it was over for competition. But, um, but it was still tough. It was still tough because... You know, just every day, like, you know, even that happening was just, like, kind of on the whim. Like, I, I didn't really plan to be in the verses. It was something that was last minute. And so when you do something like that, it's like, oh, my God, I didn't plan for this. You're, like, scared. I don't have any control over it. And that's another thing you learn, you know. Another thing about the music, I would say, too, is, like, you can plan, too. There's always going to be curveballs. That was a curveball to me. And so I remember just being shook, like, oh, my God. Oh my God, because when I did Billy, Billy to me was just supposed to be like a Lucy. That was what it was. So like, to put it out there and then for people to respond, like, you know what I'm saying? I really appreciated that. But it was definitely nerve wracking because every night you're like, yo, who gonna bring that smoke? You know what hey. I'm saying? Who gonna bring, who gonna bring their hood? Who gonna bring their block? Like, cause that's how I be sometimes. Like, people just gonna bring their whole block. Like, oh, no, nah, we rapping for this guy. And it's a rap. Whether your record hot or not, like, they just come in. Everybody, their mama, their grandmama, their whole block is coming mm -hmm. in. So, but I was happy. We held through. You know what I'm saying? My, you know, my, my fans, they definitely represented. A lot of people were showing love, so I'm appreciative. So the whole creation of Billy, I saw with the interview with Little Bacon there yeah. that your cousin developed the beat in yes. the room or something. He did. He did. He um the, the first the, the first half of it. Yes, he did. So, um, he did like you know me and we've worked on. He's gonna he you know me and him work on a lot of songs. Uh -huh. Anytime I want crank, he gives me the crank. So like anything that cranks. You know, I go to it him. must be in the blood at this point, right? Oh, no, nah, family. <laughs> oh, no, nah, the whole family, man. We just, we got, the family just full of, like, creatives, I feel like, my family. Okay, so the last couple questions I wanted to ask you was, how are you using social media to kind of influence, or how has social media helped your brand so far? That's the whole point of creating cloud. Yeah. Um, well, I don't use social media. Uh-huh. Um, Billy does. Um, so he's your goat writer, and yeah. your... you really should interview him. Like I feel I'm like down. I'm I feel like this, I know interview. I feel like he, he don't really do cameras. Um, mm -hmm. I feel like this interview really should be him, but I'll be his spokesperson. Okay. So the way Billy uses social media is like um, it's everything. You know, what I'm saying you're able to connect, with, you know, with people from all over the place. I don't know how I use. It. I just post a lot of cool stuff. I post I just post a video of me singing to my goat. Like, that's what I do, like, I just... So is this your personal goal? Like, he stays with you, or, like, you have to go visit? Like, I don't know why y'all be asking this, but, like, Billy is my homie, like... I know he's, he's your... my best friend, like, a man's best friend is not a dog, it's Billy. It's a goat. Called Billy. Okay, specific. William is really his name, but, like, mm. I'm not gonna call him, like, you know, Billy, you know what I'm saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You go from William to, like, Billy, you know what I'm yeah, saying? Yeah, yeah, yeah. It's so like that's Billy. It's it's like... But it's not Billy with the Y, it's, like, Billy with the I-E. Yeah. Yeah. So that's, you know, so social media, we just, you know, he be chilling, he, he don't do cameras. So, like, Ike is just, like, a, you know, persona to hide him from being online. Yeah, okay. but, every, but I post him now, like, 
the world got to see him. Uh, so that's what I do. So my social media is for me. It's just me chronicling like my life with Billy on social media. Now I saw those pictures of you and Billy together. Yeah. And you looked really happy. Like you really happy. Wasn't that happiness? That was happiness. That was happiness personified. Like, right? you can't, <laughs> like I've been with certain people in my life and I've smiled in photos and I haven't captured that much energy. Like I captured Billy. Like. I'm really happy with him. I've never seen somebody so happy. Like, that's before. that's a best friend. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. And I feel like people won't even understand. Like, he's the homie. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, I feel like, you know, I don't want to get emotional. Um, I feel like, you know what I'm saying, if somebody pulled up on me right now, I was ready to fight, Billy would be ready to fight for me. Just ram him real quick, right? Because don't really have hands, so he's just gonna headbutt. He got hands too. He got hands though. Yeah. He I'm trying to say, I don't know. He got hooks. Because he's right. You're right. You're right. He got hooks. He got you know the hooks. Saying? He got hooks. <laughs> and he's like, if you, you know, hands, you know, you can like, poo -poo, but like, hooks, you know what I'm saying? Like, it can hit. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Like, he can scratch. Like, you know, you don't really want, if you, you know, you don't want to get hit by some hooks. But then his headbutt got getting crazy. Yeah, too. you know what I'm saying? Like, you don't want to get hit by some hooks. But then his headbutt game, crazy too. So, like, you don't want to get, like, headbutted by Billy. But we don't practice like violence, we practice love. Okay. I'm just saying that if I was ever attacked, he would protect me. Um, and likewise, I do the same thing too for him, but that's what we do on social media. So that's how social media stuff grow. Like, okay. we just go online and we just chronicle, you know what I'm saying, our friendship. And it seems like a lot of people that love, you know, right now, goats are kind of the thing. Have you heard of Go Yoga? I haven't. Right, so, so Go Yoga is not a thing where like people like do yoga and lie down and then goats come in and then goats climb on their back. So like people Google go yoga, yeah. Okay. I, Billy doesn't do that. Like that's like low. That's like below him. You okay. know what I'm saying he out here again. Like Billy checks. You know what I'm saying. Billy checks off of these songs. Over the Billy song. Yeah, like, yeah, he yeah. Billy checks, and we did like a whole album together. Okay, so when are we hearing this Billy album? Soon, so. soon. Um, but like I said, like it's gonna be. It's, you're gonna be hearing a lot of goats. You know what I'm saying. So we basically talk about goats. Okay. Is he gonna be ad libbing like like bad like? No. You won't feel his essence. I'm gonna feel his. He won't feel his essence. Okay. You know what I'm saying? Like he's just he's, his presence is gonna be there. Okay. He's gonna be on the album cover. Um, to be honest with you. I feel like that picture you have on social media should be the album cover with you and your goat. I should, but I have one better. You have a better one. I, I, oh, I'm excited. Trust right? me, I have like a billion pictures of me and goats. I'm I just dropped one today. Wow. I will show you. Absolutely. Like I dropped one today. Like I, in fact, today I announced um to social media my people. I was like, um, I don't even want to be a rapper no more. Like I don't even want to make music anymore. Like now I just want to be a goat herder. Okay. You know? So you it's like kind of a like I grew up in Lagos and like not to say that they're goat herders in my part of Lagos, but like I would always see people who lived in certain spots and like they used to goat herd and I was just like I mean that just seems like the most um rewarding job ever. You know what I'm saying? You get to like hang out with man's best friend. You get to just like roam. Um that nomad that you were talking about earlier, so you were nomad and then you ran into Billy. Billy. Because Billy is a nomad also. Billy, yeah. Right? Like Billy, he, yeah, he held me down with some hoops. Like, so people were trying to, like, because I was, like, kind of low and, and okay. like, you know, I hadn't dropped music in a while. I'm, like, low trying to find myself. So, you know, when you low, people kind of think that they can play you. Mm -hmm. Like, they really think, like, things are sweet out here. So, like, somebody was trying to mess with me. Billy pulled up and it was like, he was, like, singing with the hands. Um, I'm, I wish I recorded this because it happened. I wish I saw it. Um, so he pulled up with the hoofs and he just starts swinging. And then from there, it was like we just realized that we have a lot in common. Mm -hmm. Like, I like Elton John, he likes Elton John. Okay. I like Biggie, he likes Tupac. So, like, we have these So, how do you get along though if y'all have different? I mean, you like, know. He like Tupac, that's West Coast versus East Coast. I know yeah. we also have that beef stick. I know, but, but like, I respect, I, res I respect his musical taste. Okay. I respect his musical taste. Like, you know, he, he spoke about Tupac, you know what I'm saying? Now, all of a sudden, we're listening to, like, Machiavelli. We listen to, like, All Eyes On Me. We listen to all these albums and songs. And I'm like, yo, I see why you like, you know, because he, he has, you know, to me, he's the definition of ambitions of a rider. Like, when I hear ambitions of a rider, I think of Billy. You know, now me, obviously, I love Biggie. You know what I'm saying? I, I'm an East Coast kid, you know what uh -huh. I'm saying? I was born in New York, as you know. Um, so I'm just an East Coast kid. Biggie, too, just used to say a lot of things that I love. Birthdays was the worst days, you know? I'm like, yo, this is it. It's very aspirational. Mm -hmm. Now we sip champagne with Thirsty. So we found common ground. It's like, now I I love Pop. He loves Biggie. Y'all. You know what I'm saying? Have y'all's like love this. melded. Yeah, so like, now I'm bumping West Coast, you know what I'm saying? I'm uh -huh. just bumping West Coast stuff. He's bumping East Coast stuff. I'm, you know, I'm putting him on to like, I had to put him on because I'm a real hip hop head. So I had to put him on to like, Jay-Z, um, you know what I'm saying? That whole 
you know, era. You okay. know what I'm saying? Real good so music. Got him into that role. Got him, yeah. Late nineties, two thousand type vibe. And then you get Billy. I'm here and now we have Billy. Yeah. So my other question is I can't take you seriously with this whole Billy. Thing. What is going on? This is a real <laughs> true story. Like I'm trying to tell you how me and Billy met. Like the world wants to know this, like me and Billy were homies. Like, okay, I'm gonna say this and I'm gonna let you get to your next okay. question. But like my dream is to do a reboot of Lethal Weapon. Only this time, instead of Danny Glover and Mel Gibson, I want it to be me and Billy. Like, so I have this idea of us being like back to back, and then you just have like a goat, right? We just have like a goat head, and then just me. Okay. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? And then, and then we don't even like you know that you know you know that now like no people are no longer doing like. You know, Rush Hour One or Rush Hour Two or Lethal Weapon One, Lethal Weapon Two. They're coming up with creative ways to do the names, so we could just be like Lethal Weapon, man. <laughs> Yo, I'm excited. Hollywood, for this Hollywood, Hollywood, Hollywood. How, we taking over music, <laughs> film, <laughs> art, um, literature, schools. We taking over farms. <laughs> like we already have like our own branded goat milks. Like think about it. Like what about goat cheeses? Goat cheese, Ooh. goat milk, like we got like the whole franchise and like we talking about opening up restaurants. And that ties into your food wrap thing, right? Mm -hmm. Full circle, did I you, could be his manager, did you, hear, did you hear what I just said? <laughs> did you hear, like y'all gotta rewind this. Like I said, you know, there's emo rap, there's all that. Food wrap is the next thing. Do you just heard me? I'm chilling with Billy. We're talking about taking over the world, franchising, doing all these kind of things. Then there's food wrap. Then we're gonna come back and then do food wrap and then be number one on the charts. Like for like two years straight in a row. Billboard, two years straight, number one in a row. Then all of a sudden, next thing you know, people are gonna be looking at us like, yo, we're the Illuminati. But we're not, but maybe we are. So you be making all that cheese with your goat cheese and your man, Billy. Do you hear these cheese? She, she, she getting the, she I getting see the, the vision, She getting the whole plot I right now. I see the vision. She getting the plot, yeah. Um. Okay, so. I'm glad that Billy has helped you out with this social Shout media. Shout out to Billy. Shout out to Billy. So that's what we do on social media, man. We just chronicle our lives. And uh, we connect with people that love Billy's too. Mm -hmm. So that's what you got to do. You got to use social media to connect with people that love you. Make sure that when you're on social media, make sure that you're connecting with people that like things that you like. You know what I'm saying? That like sounds that you like. And connect with them. And then let them see your life as you roam. Some people, I don't know if they're weirdos, but they love seeing me roam with a goat. You know, some people might call them weirdos. I call them geniuses. So they watch me interact with Billy. They watch true friendship. There's a lot of fake friends here, but this is real friendship. You know what I'm saying? Like maybe instead of being friends with that dude or that whatever, be friends with a goat. The goat gonna have your back and them hands. I mean them hoofs. <laughs> okay, so after how Billy has helped you and your growth within mm -hmm. the industry so mm -hmm. far mm -hmm. and your hopes for 2018 2019 yeah. how are we going to be seeing you next like what's your next move do you have a show coming up like what's up with you um the billy video we're about to drop the billy video when are you because i mean the people are waiting They'll be alright. Right. You know what I'm saying? You know what I'm saying? They'll be alright. Like, if it wasn't fire, then I'd be like, no. But the video, I just, yo, shout out to Film My Art. Shout out my boy Chucky, aka Film My Art Productions. Like, he showed me the clip of the video. Ooh la la. Like, it's like next level. So, it's worth the wait. Trust me. Like I said, I think I'm the first. First off, I'm the first, I'm the biggest person to pull off the moonwalk. I'm waiting, actually. I meant to ask you about that earlier. So you know Rick Ross tried that little skirt skirt. I don't know what that was. You tell Rick me. Rick Ross. <laughs> that was you know that was that. Uh, that was that. Uh, I wasn't happy. It was pathetic. It was, it was pathetic. But I'm gonna say this. Like a, but I'm gonna say this. I'm gonna say this. Like I, I still respect it because I needed Rick Ross to do that so that I could like build from him. You know what I'm saying? Mm -hmm. You gotta respect. You gotta respect the OGs. Um. So his moonwalk definitely. I'm gonna learn from his moonwalk. But I, I'm definitely gonna be the biggest to ever pull off the moonwalk. And I pulled off the moonwalk in the Billy video. And I promise you, so now you're gonna see Billy speak for the first time. You're gonna see me do the pull off the moonwalk, the biggest person to pull off the moonwalk. I mean, like, if we were living in the 20s or in the 1800s, they'll have like Billboard, here he, here he, here comes the one and only 
biggest moonwalker ever. Like this will be like Guinness Book of World Records. So stay tuned for that. Um, I'm ready to see that. Okay, what's up? <laughs> um, I got you. Don't worry. When we're done with this, I'm gonna definitely show you that. I, okay. You are gonna get the first link pick. I, I got I got you with that. Right. You are gonna see the first link pick. Um, but outside of that, um, just dropping music. Um, I've been working on music for a very long time. Like I've been working on music for like two years. Um, and I I, I, re I really like where the music is going. Like some of the influences I told you, you're gonna find those influences in the music. Um, now everyone's kind of seeing the rap and stuff, but like, you know, I'm gonna start letting people see the melody side. Okay. Just Billy's just lit, so it's like we gonna let that cook for a while. Um, but we're gonna start. I dropped Grape Rides one a couple weeks ago. I saw um, that super dope video, guys. Y'all should definitely go check it out. Um, that video, Billy wasn't in it, right? Nah, Billy it. wasn't in it. Well, Billy was in it, but you don't see him. So like, okay. there's a scene where like, there's so like kind of sparks confused. coming out of the car. Uh huh. Billy was actually inside. Uh, yeah, it was inside. So it was just, it was just so smoky. Was he driving? Yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. With so, his opposable thumbs. Yeah, <laughs> you'd be surprised. I'm, yeah, 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 I don't believe it. <laughs> but like Billy did his thing. Um, so he was in that video, but he was still low key. Okay. Everybody needs a shooter, or everybody needs somebody who's gonna be in the cut. It Billy is that guy. But it's like for this song, I felt like he needed his moment. So he's gonna have his moment. Okay. Um, so that's what that's what's gonna happen. I have an album coming out. I don't know when it's gonna come out. Okay. I might come out end of this year. I might come out early next year. But like, I have an album ready to go. Like a lot of dope music. It's um, it's all about vibes for me. It's all about vibes and all about moods. Um, and how I, would you describe your vibe? In general. Mm-hmm. Your mood. My mood. Um, I'm a very optimistic person. Uh huh. I think I'm a very optimistic person. I think um, I wanted to say real, but that's like so cliche. But what I mean by real is. I think every real human being is not one way, mm -hmm. and that's how I wanted the album to be. Um, so the album, you know, is going to reflect a lot of moods. Like, it's you know, it's going. They're going to be sad moments, which I reflect. They're going to be a lot of sad moments. They're going to be a lot of happy moments. Um, they're going to be a lot of desperate moments where you feel like you're by yourself and there's nobody else there. And then there are going to be moments when you're going to be like, you know what, everything will be okay. And yeah. that's what I wanted to do with the album. Okay. My do we have a name for this album yet? Well, it's like I've had it. The thing is, like, the title is like in plain sight, but it's like I'm supposed to like say it or not say it. This is all I'm gonna say. It's gonna be it's gonna be a lot of goats that okay. we're talking about. It's gonna be a lot of goats a we're talking goats. about. A lot of goats. So maybe like Ike the goat. It's gonna be a lot of goats. A lot of goats. Okay. You know what I'm saying? I'm looking forward to it. It's gonna be goats. Okay. Yeah. You would be goats, bro. It's gonna be goats. <laughs> like literally, the album title has been in plain sight. It's gonna be a lot of goats. That's all I'm gonna say. Um, but, um, yeah, live performances, I might be announcing the show okay. in the next couple of days, it's just being finalized, um, but definitely shows, you know, because we, we definitely have to bring the vibes, um, to the people in that way, um, but that's what the album is, the album is just going to be a roller coaster of emotions, like, I think, I've always made albums, and albums have always, like, my last album was very conceptual, mm -hmm. talking about what it felt like to be a Nigerian kid coming to America, and then I wanted to get more cerebral and get more emotional and get more mental, like to what people are going through. So it's like I didn't want it to be like explicit or this person is doing this and doing that. I wanted to go into your thoughts and your moods and your vibes. And so that's what it is. So that's it's gonna be happy moments. Like I said, the album starts off very happy. It starts off very sad, hopeless. A lot of happy moments. A lot of ego driven. I'm just here. I don't care. And a lot of sad, low moments. And then it gets brighter. So, okay. and then we'll have shows, um, to promote. like I said, I got shows I'm working on right now. Hopefully we'll announce. I just wanted this summer to kind of like give people like the music, let them know that I got the crank. And yeah, then next really, year, like the whole KYS versus happened mm -hmm. in like late May, May time, Yeah, right? it happened in a, yeah, I, man, it's, it's been moving so fast. April, May, yeah. probably. Yeah, and then I dropped the song, um, I dropped the song after that and I dropped Great Prize on. So I'm giving people like crank. Yeah. And I got more. That's That's what we want. Like people want more. I really want people to know that. Like I really got more. Like and you see I had to look at the camera, like I got more. Yeah. Like 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 Billy if, if I told you that Billy came off with just me just playing around, like be very afraid. Like D C y'all gonna be being y'all feet crazy. I'm ready. We yeah, need gonna, to get, there's gonna be a lot of there's gonna be a lot of 
we need to make the nation who they feel. Absolutely. Teach the nation how absolutely. to Oh, right? absolutely. Oh, most definitely. Get that chop beat nationwide most and definitely. national, right? Most definitely. <laughs> Everybody's going to be eating that, you know, some mumbo sauce. Not yes. no, no mumbo. <laughs> Now, what the hell is mambo? <laughs> yeah, please. <laughs> mambo don't, sauce. Don't gentrify that. <laughs> cool out. Please let us have that too. Yeah, please. Um, okay, so with that, I guess we're wrapping up. What is your advice to the kids, whether mm -hmm. they are children goat or children mm -hmm. children, that are trying to do what you and Billy are doing? Still for drugs. <laughs> Get you a goat. Get you a goat. And um, stay drugs. Nah, just I, you know, just be you. Like, when it comes to the art, don't care about what nobody got to say. Just make the music that you know you you know how to make. Like that's the thing. Sometimes people, cause to me, when I look, when I think of kids, and I think of kids, and I think of like kid like stuff, I think of creativity. Like I think of being a kid and creating crazy sketches. Like. Like when I look at a Basquiat like art piece, like that's that looks like even though it's on the next level, but I look at that, that what I see there is like childlike creativity, right? And I just feel like just make sure that you keep doing the music and keep making it. Don't care about what nobody. Yeah. Instead of being up in school studying criminology, I was up in the studio trying to be a young prodigy. Ay, rest peace to prodigy, AM and the new dynasty. Let me click who is hot as we. Niggas saying they stopping me. Swear to God, ain't stopping shit. I must look like Flavor Flav, the way these niggas keep clocking me. Man, I swear it's so sad to see you still slaving for salary. Won't stop till I'm living life like I just won a lottery. Do the, do the dance to the melody. Still sipping that Hennessy. Niggas thinking they stressing me, but I'm still saying sell a V. If a nigga try mess with me, have a verse as a rest in peace. Yeah, you know I'm so uptown in the back of the 70. Do it big for the city, y'all. Still making a killing, y'all. With a woman so pretty. Ooh, she Still play with my wee wee, y'all. Eddie Lennon's three piece, still eating that chicken, y'all. You don't want no high smoke, want my sauce on my glizzy, y'all. Get the team in a shirt, let's have a toast. We from DC, so you know we do the most. Haters hate to see me, acting like you seen a ghost. Man, I'm Mike the Kid, and I'm trying to be the ghost. Get the team in a shirt, let's have a toast. We from DC, so you know we do the most. Haters hate to see me, acting like you seen a ghost. Man, I'm Mike the Kid, and I'm trying to be the ghost. Do your dance bounce, do your dance bounce. Chop, chop, chop. Ay. Do your dance bounce, do your, do your dance bounce Chop, chop, chop In it bit like Konichiwa Taking over like a coup d'etat Kiss that money like ooh la la Hit that pussy like ooh za na Ay, hit him off with that new talk Won't stop till I'm the biggest nigga doing the moonwalk Yeah, still stunning my Billy jeans Yeah, I'm smoother than Billy D Y'all niggas my mini me Ay, remember when I had no dough Still stuck up in gold slow Sipping fine now Zobos Now AMN is the logo Yeah, we rocking our rose gold Everybody is showing now For the time we on no show Ay, get the team in a cell Let's have a toast We from D.C. So you know we do the most Hey, to see me I get like you seen a ghost Man, I'm like the kid And I'm just trying to be the goal Get the team in a cell Let's have a toast We from D.C. So you know we do the most Ain't it seen me? I can't like you seen a ghost. Yeah.